Hi, my name is Samantha from Minerva and welcome to today's video. Today I'm sharing the top 10 patterns for knitted fabric. They're in no order and I'm delighted to share with you also some fabulous fabrics that are available on the website too. So, to start off with, we have got two fantastic patterns which are great tunics and great tops. Now I love stitching a tunic or a top because I think they're just such a quick make and these have got some really nice twists to them as well. I'm going to be talking about McCall's 6963 and also New Look 6435. These patterns are easy and perfect for beginners. The first one, McCall's 6963, is a really classic fitted top, but it has a really flattering drape to it. And the drape can either be a very high neck or a V neck. And I think this works really well because you also get a great combination of sleeves to it. So you can choose from a sleeveless, you can go for a long sleeve, or either a three quarter sleeve. I love a three-quarter sleeve sleeve. I'm actually wearing uh, a beautiful velvet actually off the website and this knitted fabric, um, I've made a wrap over dress and this has got a three-quarter length sleeve and I find it really practical so I'm constantly rolling my sleeves up. Uh, this would also look great, this pattern, in I think a short sleeve as well which would be perfect moving into the summer months. So you can make this pattern with a minimum of 1.1 metres of fabric up to 1.6 depending on your size. And it's really classy because it fits just, it, it finishes just below the hip here and it has uh, a very simple feel to it. You could wear it to work with a jacket over the top of it or a smart cardigan or you could wear it with a pair of jeans or white trousers to make it a little bit more casual for the summer. So you could also, um, again, wear this um, and layer it a little bit for the autumn months. And I feel that this is just a really simple pattern, but the drape over the neckline gives it that little bit more um, of a feminine twist to something that could look quite simple and casual within your wardrobe. This pattern comes in two separate sizes, so when you order it on the website, just ensure that you do have the right sizing for yourselves. And I particularly like this, and I am just going to open up the packing. If you're not familiar with Nicole's patterns, they do some great hints and tips within the pattern. So you get your pattern out on the tissue paper. And then you also get some nice little like serger tips or, or overlocking tips which I'm just going to bring that to the camera so you can see inside. And I think that really helps you. There's a little fit tip as well, which is really informative as well. And those little uh, tips just give you that little bit of confidence to make sure that your pattern fits you perfectly. Now, I have chosen today a really beautiful fabric to pair with this pattern. And this is a palm style leaf pattern. It's an all over pattern and it has a really soft drape on it which again would look great for that detail on the neckline. It has a viscose lycra mix to it and I'm just going to hold that up. As you can see the lovely stretch in it, it has an amazing 40% stretch in the width and also in the length of the fabric. And again, the back of the fabric is beautiful and soft against the skin. So that's really lovely. And because it has a lycra in it, and we all know that lycra came from dancewear, what you've actually got with this is when you give it that stretch, you don't see any of the white in the background coming through to the front. And I think for me, that gives you me the reassurance that this is a really beautiful quality fabric. It comes in two colorways extra on the website so please do check them out all the links are below this video 
and I really feel that this would be perfect for summer days. I'd love to wear this with some white wide-legged trousers. Um, also maybe a skirt if you're going out in the summer or going to the beach. I think it's just really fun and it really kind of uplifts your spirits with this all over print. I wouldn't really patch and match it either because the print really is, is all over and there isn't kind of an up or down to it. And I just think it's just really, a, really a fun print for these months. And then moving on to the second one, which is this really classy tunic, which is New Look 6439. It's a tunic, but also it comes with leggings as well. And I don't know about you, but during the last uh, lockdown, I've been wearing my leggings a lot. And I realise that actually leggings are a great part of my wardrobe. And now it's starting to get a little bit warmer here. I'm layering them a little bit with tunic tops and adding some cardies over them. And again, they are super comfy. But again, this is just a really nice casual wear style. Now what I like about this, and I'm just going to give you the back detail of this, is that it's not just a tunic, but what you've got here is you've got two separate backs to it. So you've got um, the classic tunic, you've also got the three different styles of sleeve, and you've also got the two separate styles of neckline as well. You've got the scoop and you've also got the v-neck. But on the back, um, you've also got a nice seam which means that the back actually comes in and then does a little bit of a fan tail out with some gathers to it which gives a little bit more of an interest on the back so it isn't just your straight classic A-line tunic on the front and also on the back so that's a nice version to make as well. You also have a really lovely scallop design as well so the hemline raises on two versions a little bit higher at the front than the back and I think this is also quite a fun and also very flattering. Now if you haven't made leggings before we're really recommending this absolutely gorgeous fabric we've got here. Now this is from Mind the Maker and if you're not familiar with this brand please do check them out on our website. They do make some absolutely stunning fabrics have a look at this colour palette as well because I'm sure there would be one that is perfect for yourself. This is a beautiful um, tomato red and this fabric has, I'm going to bring it to the camera so you can see, has kind of like a watermark on it. It is quite a thicker fabric but that's great because you want your leggings to hang really well um, on you. It's 40% organic and it has all the earth friendly certification as well so again you feel like you're doing a little bit for the environment with this fabric as well it, it is 160 centimeters wide which gives you great value for money as well I'm also going to show you the back of it um, and that has a nice rib to it so you've got a nice rib at the front and then you've got this really interesting watermark effect on the front. Um, it's a really sturdy compound weave fabric and it has a nice stretch to it which means that it will give a great shape to your leggings and also to your tunics. I think the way that this would fall on the back of a tunic with that lovely design two piece at the back would really kind of hold its shape at the back without being too floaty and perfect again you could wear this into the office uh, because you could dress it up a little bit or also you could wear this casual for the leggings you would need between 1.2 to 1.7 meters of fabric and for the tunic top you would need between 1.8 to 2 meters of fabric my next two patterns are from grain line studio and these are absolute wardrobe staples you first of all you have the linden sweatshirt and then a great combination with that is also the lark tee and I've got some beautiful fabrics to share for these two makes as well. So if you're not familiar with the linden sweatshirt this is such a classic design. You have got two separate designs within this basic sweatshirt pattern and we've all been wearing sweatshirts particularly in the current climate so it's uh, 
great to have one and we can kind of like personalise it, maybe put some patches on it or change different colours of the uh, thread that we're using on them and I think it's quite a fun to actually make something quite classic but add a little of your own twist to it. So we've got either the scoop neck which has the mid hip or you've got the option as well to have the higher hip with a higher band on it. The option is for a long sleeve and a short sleeve and this has also got the raglan on it. Now the raglan star sleeve is I think really perfect for a beginner because you're not fiddling with those shoulder seams to make sure that it fits perfect on your shoulder. Um, so I'd really advise this if you're a beginner starting out making your sweatshirts. It comes in a size US 0 to size 18. We are recommending for your linden sweatshirts, and this is just so cosy, and just look at that plum. That is just so, that actually is really soft, and it's got a nice fleece backing. So great if you're working your wardrobe between the seasons and you want to layer it up, or if you want to get super cosy, this is a great pattern and a great fabric combination as well. So I'm just going to bring that to the camera so you can see that beautiful softness at the back of your linden sweatshirt. And then look at the quality again at the front of this beautiful fleece. This actually, believe it or not, comes within comes in 50 colourways on the website, which I'm sure that we've got one that will be perfect for your linden. Um, it's a medium weight, you've got a 15% stretch on the width of the fabric, and you've just got a 10% on the length. And you don't want your linden sweatshirt to be really drapey and soft and flowy. You want to have it a nice shape and some nice stability in it. It also comes with the Earth Friendly certification as well on this. And um, yeah, this just feels really, really cosy. And I think when it's getting a little bit chillier in the evenings or in the day, you just can just pop this on and that fleece gives you that nice feel to your make. And then underneath your linden sweatshirt, again, an absolute classic for your wardrobe. A wardrobe staple would be the Lark Tea. With the Lark Tea, you can actually make 16 different t-shirts just with the one pattern. So you've got the combinations of a modern slim fit tee with four separate sleeves. So you have the crop, the short, the mid, and also the long length on there. You also have the different variations on the neckline as well. I particularly like this kind of nearly boat line shape, which again would be really a classic. Now, I think that this would also look good if you're a little bit more of an experienced dressmaker to make this into a tunic and you could hack it a little bit and make it a little bit longer in the body. So again, there's great variations on this because it's so simple, you can use it to add to it and just make some little twists to it. But also, if you're a beginner, particularly in knitted fabrics, I would really recommend that you have both a linden and a lark within your pattern stash. Now for the Lark Tea, we are recommending today the Art Gallery fabric, which is a beautiful kind of stylized rose. I absolutely love this fabric. Art Gallery fabrics are an absolute pleasure to stitch with. I've stitched with them many times and they are really soft. When you pop them onto your sewing machine, you can actually feel the quality as you work with them. They have an amazing back to them as well. They just feel really soft. They don't feel scratchy at all. They just feel really, really soft. And you can also tell the quality because um, you can actually feel the way that the actual knit's been put together, that it doesn't feel see-through or gapy or misshaped. When, particularly when you're laundering them, you feel that it all just pops back together and they, they iron really well as well. So this has got an amazing 60% stretch within the width of it. And we're looking at a 
50% in the length of that as well. And it has a beauty because it has spandex. It's a spandex cotton blend. And again, spandex came from dancewear. Um, so you know that you've got a really nice shape within that. And also it will give you a nice bit of support within your fabric to have that cotton spandex mix, mix as well. So that is gorgeous. Now this is an absolutely gorgeous all over print. Um, again, I wouldn't look to particularly pattern match this. I would have a little bit of fun in where I would put the roses, maybe put one on your shoulder or put one kind of higher up on the sleeve. And you've got a lovely aqua here and the rose pattern, it looks a little bit like it's cut from marbled paper. And you've got greens in there, you've got some lovely reds and corals, you've got a little tinge of a mustard and also some very delicate greens within that as well. I'm just going to bring that so you can actually just see that and you can just see how that falls as well. It's not, even though you've got the stretch in it, it's not absolutely super drapey, but I also, it has a nice brush to it, which is the cotton um, that Art Gallery is really synonymous with. And... Again, you can just, you know when you see Art Gallery fabric, when I see people wearing it, it's just, it's just such a strong brand. Now, while I'm talking about um, beautiful fabrics, uh, if you haven't created an account over on Minerva, um, now is a perfect time to do so. You can uh, create one for free, and when you do your order, um, you can see your back history of what you have ordered, but also you can put your little profile up there and uh, you can start to share your makes if you want to, but you can also engage and chat with fellow creatives and fellow sewists around the world. Now, I like this platform because when you, work, when you go onto other plat social media platforms, you have got so many different topics to cover. Um, that sometimes all of the craft and the creative and the sewing gets a little bit hidden. When you're on the Minerva site, you just see the creative and the sewing and the beautiful crafts. And you also know that everything on there can be purchased and you can copy it um, because people tag in what they've made. So if you're inspired by somebody's linden sweatshirt, for example, you can find that perfect plum t-shirt, um, sweatshirt material and you can purchase it and you can recreate it. You can use hashtags on it, you can search through the hashtags. And for me, I found so many amazing creatives through there and I've been really inspired with what they have made. So if you haven't already, please do go and check out what you can be inspired with over on Minerva today. And then moving on to two tops which have real fun, playful lines with them. So if you're a little bit more of an experienced stitcher, I really recommend these. We're talking about the Courtney Top by Style Arc and also New Look 6415. These two patterns really do play around with the stretch fabrics and I've got two lovely stretch fabrics that we recommend for these. So the Style Art Courtney pattern has got some absolute strong, on-trend, very catwalk-inspired lines to it. It's really synonymous with these two strong lines on the front of it, with two strong seams there. And then on the back, it looks a little bit like a bowling retro blouse, with this really beautiful line which curves, as you can see, um, on the back with a little bit of a detail pleat there. And this finishes just round about hip length and you can wear it with some jeggings or you can wear it with some jogging trousers or even you can maybe dress it up a little bit for work, a pencil skirt and maybe some flatties with it. So it's really soft, it's a very flattering on the figure with those very straight lines to it. But also it has got that very um, hip funky inspired look to it. Now this is for a little bit more of an experienced stitcher, but I'll just show you the pattern. Because inside what Style Art do, um, they actually are printing it out with full colour. So here you can find that you can trace it or cut it out very easy and the instructions too are really nice and straightforward as well. 
so if this kind of feels that this is something that you could get familiar with again look they're so big and bold and easy to follow i think that's one of the great perks within the style arc collections now to make your courtney top we recommend in this beautiful soft mustard fabric and just look at that color and it just feels so so soft the drape on this um, really is beautiful. It has like a peachy feel to it. And you would need between 1.3 to 1.7 meters of fabric, depending on the size that you're making. And just feel that nice soft stretch there. And you can really have some nice fun cutting out that really beautiful silhouette to your Courtney with this fabric. Just bring that to the camera so you can have a look at the way that it falls and that just nice really soft peachy feel to it. It really has got that beautiful, beautiful drape. The new look 6413 also looks at drapes but instead of having a, a nice strong cut line on the top we're look, playing about with asymmetrical hemlines. This has four separate hemlines to it, a soft classic scoop neck and a beautiful sleeve on there with a very, very uh, fitted sleeve. So really the fun in this is all around the hem. You're getting quite a strong A line shape you're creating with an asymmetric look. This has, you can make it within 2.5 to 3 metres of fabric depending on the pattern size and you can stitch it with a variety of stretch fabric. So you may want to make one that's a little bit lightweight for spring or summer. And you could also go for the sleeveless version in the summer months and something a little bit more of a heavier weight and longer sleeves for the winter. So this pattern would see you through the seasons with something that's really fun and also has that really nice shape to it. You could wear it with your jeggings or your fitted jeans and your boots in the winter or you could wear it with some jeggings or some lighter weight leggings and some little flat pumps or some flip um, flip flops or some open toe sandals in the summer months. We are recommending and when I, we were selecting these I looked at this and I thought I don't really stitch a lot with white because it's so classic. I always go for the bright colours and a lot of the patterns. And we're recommending this beautiful and it's a Modal Looped Bat Terry fabric. And it has such a beautiful drape to it and a beautiful feel to it as well. And if you um, are looking to add a little bit more staple garment making to your wardrobe this would be a lovely start it has a backing i'm just bring it up to the camera which is just a looped back backing that you can see and you've also got that beautiful soft drape now this is the most stretchy fabric that i'm showing you today and it has a 60 percent stretch on the width and a 20 percent on the length so that would really show off your asymmetric hem there. Um, and also, why don't you order another couple of metres and make a few basic t-shirts so that you um, have got those within your wardrobe as well. This comes in an incredible 12 colours and it just is quite thick because sometimes whites, you can kind of like see through them a little bit, but not this one. It really has got that quality you can see, I'm just putting my hand to the camera so you can see you've got that nice shape and you've got that quality with this Modal French Terry. It also has that lycra in it as well, so the Modal gives it that nice softness to it. The lycra gives it a little bit of stretch, but also being lycra, it retains its um, former shape as well. So that means it's great for laundering because it can it, it bounces back and it's more easy care to do when you're doing the ironing and we all love that I'm pretty sure about that it also comes in 150 centimeter width and it is um, available now 
on our website. And following that up with two funnel neck designs. We've got here the Nina Lee South Bank sweatshirt dress and the So House 7 toaster sweater. Now the Nina Lee the Nina Lee South Bank sweater is a high neck, very strong design um, dress, but also you can make the sweater and also the crop sweater as well. The really strong detail on the hem and the cuff will give a really nice kind of cocoon shape to your dress. I think this has got a kind of 60s feel to it and it would look great with thick tights, boots or pumps and you kind of got that kind of like London 60s feel going on I feel with this with this design. The crop design would look really great in the summer months to sing that over maybe like a floral dress or if it's getting a little bit chilly on the beach to pop it over um, just to keep yourself warm. Um, we're going with that funnel would be quite cosy to, to keep out the wind. So this you this you can make it with in about 1.8 meters of fabric for my size and I'm a UK size 10 to 12. I particularly like this design um, basically because you have got those three separate designs all in one pattern and we are recommending today for your South Bank sweatshirt dress a beautiful Mind the Maker fabric and this is the second Mind the Maker fabric that I've shown you today and this one has a beautiful chevron on it and just have a look how sophisticated is this fabric it actually looks strong and has a really soft back to it doesn't have much stretch to it. We're talking about 15% in the width and just 10% on the length of this fabric. I wouldn't do much pattern matching as well with this fabric. I would possibly pattern match it just at the side seams. And again, if you are a beginner to stretch fabric, this would be a great fabric to start with because it doesn't have that much stretch to it. This is a organic cotton and recycled polyester and comes in a 160 centimetre width, which again is great value for money. It has nine colourways available on our website and I think this plum is beautiful, particularly for autumn. And for me, in my skin colour and I particularly like these plum tones, but I think that this would look beautiful on all skin colours as well. While we're talking about funnel necks, the toaster sweater from So House 7 is an absolute staple within your wardrobe. What I like about this is you've got two separate sweatshirts within the, wrong, within the same pattern. You have your funnel neck sweatshirt with your raglan sleeve. And again, I recommend those for beginners because they're a little bit easier in my opinion. You've got your deep cuff and you've got your deep hem as well. You now the Adrienne blouse is such a statement blouse. It has a beautiful billowy sleeve to it. It has a beautiful fitted waist to it and bodice. And the seam at the hemline just falls just round about the belly button. The beautiful sleeves are a little bit higher than the wrist and they finish with elastic around the wrist and also you make the neckline also with elastic as well. So it is such a classic design and it's so on trend at the moment. It's very romantic, it's incredibly feminine as well. It really has, it, it has a look which is very um, very statement but also you could have a lot of fun with this if you're an experienced stitcher you could um, extend the hemline and make it maybe into a dress or you could have a lot of fun at making the sleeves even bigger um, but I think that this silhouette is really beautiful and I think the fabrics you could make with this would really show off the design 
we are selecting today a viscose jersey knit fabric and this is a beautiful viscose spandex with a floral design and again if you just look at the way that that moves think about those big billowy sleeves on your Adrienne blouse and how beautiful they would actually fall this is actually incredibly soft um, see when I stretch that it has a beautiful feel to it and also a great recovery as well you can see also the pattern is quite a big repeat you've got some blues in there some purples a little bit of mustard greens and it's all pulled together with a white so I think if I was making up my Adrienne blouse in this fabric, I would play about to maybe put one of the flowers maybe um, at the top of, um, at the bottom of my shoulder, so it would maybe look like a corsage, or maybe I would look at the detail round about the shoulder to put one of the flowers on it. This is such a strong, very fashion forward pattern that uh, it would look good with your jeans, a casual, or if you had a navy skirt or trousers for work, it would look great. Also, if you're looking to make this to go out for dinner, it would look really super smart as well, dressing it up maybe with a strong statement necklace maybe, and some earrings, and also having fun picking out those colors. You would need between 1.3 to 1.8 meters of fabric to make your Adrienne blouse. And I'll just show you the back of that. And I think the model on this, she just looks so relaxed, but also so she can... The sizes within this come between a extra small, which is a bust 32 to 33 inches, or up to a 4X, which is a 53 to 54. And all the notions and details are written on the back of the pattern as well for you. And finally, we're talking about the Jaylene t-shirt, which is for men and boys. This incredibly has 27 different sizes within it. It's a classic tee. It has a scoop option. It also has a v-neck option as well. It has a long and a short sleeve and also kind of like a fake short sleeve with a long sleeve over the top of it. So there's some great varieties to have within your Jaylene pattern. Now, I like these patterns because they do a lot um, of, for example, girls' hoodies, um, they do some sportswear as, as well, so they really know what they're talking about with knitted fabrics. Could create for a man and a son or a grandson, a nephew, the same pattern. And it's such a classic, You, this would be the perfect gift for Father's Day or Christmas or birthdays that you could make one for dad, one for mini-me. Um, so your father and son would look great in these and you could also have a lot of fun, not only with the fabrics that you make so that they actually match, um, you could also have fun in making and adding patches to them. We have some great patches available on our website. And also um, maybe purchasing some vinyl, putting out some shapes and eyeing them up in on and making it absolutely unique. Now, my husband, he goes through t-shirts like you wouldn't believe. And I think you really struggle with the quality to actually get that value for money a lot of the times with your t-shirts. We have got this beautiful jersey here today. And what I like when I'm making my own t-shirts is that you have got the quality in the craftsmanship but also you can choose your fabric as well. So they're not only great value for money but also when you're laundering and caring for your t-shirts they don't kind of like twist in the body because you have that really nice side seam on that. So leave in the comments if you're familiar with what I'm saying but I really like where I've got a nice seam so I can I can press them and iron them really quickly um, and get them through the ironing pile. So this is a lovely jersey and just look at that. It's a lovely marl but you've got such a quality in that and it isn't scratchy, it's just incredibly soft 
uh, full stretch within the fabric and I think this would be perfect for gifts or perfect as your wardrobe staple for the boys and the men in your lives. So that's everything that I've got to show you today. What a fantastic selection of patterns and fabrics. Please pop in the comments which was your favourite fabric and which pattern you have made or you would like to make next. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.